Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us. Happening right now, a federal judge is hearing arguments in a lawsuit seeking to require 32 Florida counties to provide Spanish language ballots and other materials to people who can't read English. That includes Manatee and Sarasota counties. Voting rights activists argue that these counties are violating the Voting Rights Act, arguing 30,000 voters in those 32 counties are not proficient in English. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live at the Sarasota County Supervisor of Elections Office tonight. Now, Jess, how could this lawsuit affect our local ballots? Well, Jacqueline, right now, when you walk into any of the polling places here on the Sun Coast, you're given a ballot that's only in English. Meanwhile, in Lee County to our south and Hillsborough County to our north, those voters are given ballots that are in both English and Spanish. Sarasota and Manatee counties may soon be forced to follow suit. Times have shifted, and El Luterio Salazar says Florida needs to shift with them. When we talk about 30% of Florida's population, and that was just as of the last census, I'm sure it's increased by now. Being Hispanic, imagine how many of those need more of the Spanish speaking or Spanish literature to be able to comprehend what it is in fact they're actually doing. Salazar is fluent in both languages but he's watched others struggle. When I went to the polls uh, and I saw other people who didn't speak English or couldn't read English, there was hardly any assistance. They were literally going into a booth voting for God knows who. In Manatee County Supervisor of Elections, Michael Bennett says Florida law requires any county that's population is more than 5% Hispanic must provide dual language ballots. Manatee and Sarasota counties have Hispanic populations much less than that. I'm very sympathetic to those people who do have a problem. So we've recruited probably 30 or 32 Hispanic poll workers to try to work with those people when we can. But as far as issuing dual language ballots for the upcoming general election, Bennett says he doesn't think physically he'll be able to do that. They came at us way too late. Had they hit us last January, for example, we might have had some literature printed up and we are trying to do something on that. Military ballots must be mailed out 45 days before the election. That's just two weeks away. Sarasota County Supervisor of Elections Ron Turner, like Bennett, says he tries to accommodate the Spanish-speaking population. Voters are always allowed to, if they have a need for someone to assist them, to bring someone to a polling location with them as well. Turner says Sarasota County will comply if they have to print dual ballots, but says it takes weeks to get ballots proofed and to the printers. Any changes in elections do take time to plan that out. Right, th right now, there are either 19 or 20 races and issues on the ballots here in Sarasota County, depending on what precinct you live in. If the ballots have to be printed in both Spanish and English, that means they would double in length. Reporting live in Sarasota County, Jess Dowdrake, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.